Meet Momo, the trailblazing AI model, redefining interaction. Today, we explore Momo, a revolutionary family of multimodal AI models, setting new benchmarks in the industry. Unlike other models that merely interpret images and text, Momo breaks barriers by learning to point at perceived objects, unlocking unprecedented interactions in both physical and virtual worlds. Whether outperforming models 10 times its size or bridging the gap between open and proprietary systems, Momo paves the way for next-gen AI applications that not only understand their environment, but actively engage with it. Take a moment to watch this quick demo and then join me as we delve into some astonishing benchmarks that set Momo apart. Don't forget to support AI Gridlock by smashing that like button, subscribing to our channel, and sharing this video with your friends for the latest AI updates. Is this option vegan? No, this option is not vegan. Count the number of people. Counting the number of people shows a total of 21. Convert this table to JSON. Here's the table converted to JSON format. I want to sell my bike on Craigslist. Write me a description for it. Schwinn bike for sale. Blue with white accents. $300 or best offer. You want to buy it? It's Monday at 1 p.m. Can I park here and for how long? Yes, you can park here on Monday at 1 p.m. You have six hours left to park. I really like electronic music. What show should I go to? If you're into electronic music, you should definitely check out the show featuring Tyco and Zed at the Showbox Soto. Can you write me a knock-knock joke? Knock knock, who's there? Rocket. Rocket who? Rocket to the moon and back, baby. <laughs> Can you point to the model that takes the least time to train? Nice. nice. That, that is the really good. Time to train. Which of these models uses reinforcement learning? The image shows a table of different models oh, nice. and it their associated the models. methods. Hey, Momo, order me a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. I'll place the order through Uber Eats. Your pumpkin spice latte is on its way. Momo's diverse skills, vision, pointing, JSON conversion, and web browsing. The open source model, Momo, continues to impress with its wide array of capabilities. From its remarkable vision capabilities to the ability to point at specific elements within an image and convert those interactions into JSON format, Momo has proven its effectiveness and versatility. While the developers haven't extensively discussed this on their blog, they've hinted at another exciting feature. Wedge web agents powered by Momo can now browse the internet on your behalf. This highlights the model's potential to tackle complex tasks and enhance user experiences, as Momo's capabilities continue to expand, it's evident that this AI model is pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the world of AI applications. Momo showcased its potential by taking on the challenge of ordering from Uber Eats. Although web agents often face difficulties with complex multi-step tasks, Momo's exceptional vision capabilities have proven to be on par with state-of-the-art models up to 10 times its size. In human ELO preference evaluations, MOMO, 72 billion parameters, emerged as the top performing model, surpassing all other closed source models and even matching the prowess of GPT 4.0. These evaluations involved 15,000 image text prompt pairs with each visual language model queried for responses. The resulting image text response triplets were presented to a set of 870 human annotators for ranking. Remarkably, Momo's performance outshines competitors like Gemini 1.5 Pro, 
Claude 1.5 Flash, and the recently released Llama 3.2 in visual analysis benchmarks, this impressive feat solidifies Momo's position as a game changer in the AI landscape. Momo's remarkable performance is a testament to its exceptional size, speed, and effectiveness, making it a force to be reckoned with in the AI arena. But what sets Momo apart? It's all about the quality of data. Drawing inspiration from the success of GPT 3.5, Momo's creators discovered that data quality triumphs over quantity. While most AI models are trained on vast amounts of messy and confusing data found online, Momo's developers took a different approach. They used fewer high-quality images instead of millions of blurry ones. Uh, by prioritizing quality over quantity, Momo overcomes the challenges of AI hallucination and learns more efficiently. This innovative approach demonstrates that sometimes less is indeed more when it comes to building a powerful AI model. The secret to Momo's exceptional image analysis capabilities lies in PIXMO, a two-step process for data gathering and fine-tuning. Firstly, dense captioning ensures that images are described in great detail, providing more context and specificity. Instead of simply labeling an image as a dog, the description might read, a brown dog sitting under a tree with a red ball next to it. Secondly, fine-tuning is employed to help Momo perform specific tasks, like answering questions about image content, reading documents, or even pointing at objects within images. To make this process more efficient, people are asked to speak their descriptions aloud for a minute. This approach encourages more in-depth explanations, capturing even the smallest details. In a fascinating example shared on Twitter, Momo demonstrated its unique ability to accurately tell time from a clock face, a task that stumped even the most renowned AI models like GPT, Claude, Gemini, and Elama. This accomplishment highlights Momo's prowess in visual analysis and sets it apart as a trailblazer in the field. Moreover, Momo's creators have introduced incredibly efficient models, such as Momo Mitra of Experts 1B, which is based on a fully open source mixture of Experts LLMs. Despite its smaller size, it nearly matches GPT-4's vision performance on both academic benchmarks and human evaluations. With the best-in-class Momo Noibi model achieving the highest academic benchmark score and ranking second in human evaluation, Momo continues to push boundaries in AI capabilities and efficiency. Up next, we'll dive into some more demos, including a groundbreaking integration into Vision Pro that showcases the transformative power of advanced AI with vision capabilities. Hey, I'm gonna talk about how we could use Momo, our multimodal AI model, with an Apple Vision Pro to enable us to better understand and interact in the world. This is a model that can answer questions based on an image, and it can also augment and explain its reasoning through pointing. So let's get into it. Okay, let's start off with something basic. Hey Momo, what is this machine used for? This is a sophisticated coffee station featuring a large stainless steel machine with a digital display surrounded by coffee cups, creamers, and sugar packets. Nice, that was pretty cool. Now let's have it augment our vision by predicting points as visual tags on the image. Hey Momo, can you give me an overview? Another impressive application of Momo lies in its potential to transform robotics by improving their vision models. Despite advancements in robotics, vision models have often lagged behind, hindering the overall efficiency of these machines. However, with the integration of Momo, robots can now benefit from more accurate object recognition and spatial awareness allowing them to better navigate their environments and complete tasks with precision. This advancement is crucial for the continued progress and success of robotics in various industries. So let's take a look at how Momo is changing the game for robotics and pushing the boundaries of what machines can achieve. Um, here we can see the, uh, what the robot is observing and you're going to ask a couple of questions uh, that will ask the uh, Momo model. Um, and we'll see what it says. So one of the first questions we can ask is, um, what are the objects in this scene? Uh, just to get a sense of what are the objects that we can see here. Um, as you can see, the video is being updated. The scene contains several objects, a white countertop with a wooden base, a variety of snacks, including Lay's chips, gummy bears, and Cheez-Its, a blue water bottle and a white thermos, a laptop with stickers, a white coffee mug, 
a tray with napkins and paper plates, a kitchen area with a white table, chairs, and a refrigerator, a microwave, a garbage can, a string of flags, a window, a blue chair, a water fountain, a man wearing a gray sweater and black pants, a woman with brown hair wearing a white tank top. These items and people create a busy kitchen or break room atmosphere with a mix of food, drink, and everyday objects. So now let's try to um, ask the robot how we can pick up one of the objects. So let's say we want to grab um, uh, the white bottle. So let's say uh, point to the white bottle just to see uh, what we can get. Um, and you can see that the point is shown here in the image. But let's say we want to be more precise. We want to grab the uh, object by the handle. So we can say point to the handle on the white bottle. And as you can see, it is pointing to the white handle, uh, the uh, handle of the white bottle. Um, then at this point, we are able to issue a uh, command for the robot, a low-level controller on the robot, to go and perform the task. Now, after the bottle is moved, now we want to uh, find a place in this scene that we can uh, put the dirty bottles in. So let's say I point to where I should put the dirty dishes in. And you can see that it points to the sink. So the robot, then again, the low level controller can take over, the robot will move towards the sink. Okay, so now the robot is here and we want to put the bottle that is in hand in the sink. Uh, we need to find the free spaces in there so we can just uh, ask the robot, ask Momo, point to the free space in the sink, and then press enter. And as you can see, it's pointing to a free space in the sink. Now again, a low-level controller can take over. And just ask a couple of other questions uh, from the robot. For example, we can ask the robot um, where point to the tea bags. Or actually, we can even ask the robot point to um, things I need to make tea with. And we can see that the uh, Momo model is pointing to all the tea bags that we have in the scene, uh, point to the machine that I can use to make coffee with. And you can see that it's pointing to the coffee machine. The exciting world of AI, Momo's surprise arrival and rapid progress. What an eye-opening journey into the world of AI with Momo's unexpected emergence and remarkable capabilities. Just as the dust was settling from the Llama 3 release, Momo burst onto the scene, surprising us all with its groundbreaking advancements in vision, robotics, and more. This rapid progress serves as a testament to the ever-accelerating pace of AI development. With countless companies quietly working on their own models and innovations, there's no telling what exciting surprises lie just around the corner. As we wrap up this exploration of Momo's impressive feats, we're left with a sense of wonder and anticipation for the future of AI. Thanks for joining me on this journey. Stay tuned for more fascinating discoveries.